Hi guys, well if you're new to the channel, uh, I've split from uh, Svetlana and having to find somewhere to live, I was looking for a sailboat project. I found this 1988 Benetel First 305 that had been abandoned. It's in a bit of a sorry state, the headline is missing just about everywhere. Uh, the bilges were full of water and uh, the engine was in bits. So I've given myself six weeks to get it back up and running and uh, seaworthy. So join me on the journey, and if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Well, well, we made it to anchor yesterday, and the boat is dry, and the engine's running sweet. So now the real work begins. So. Uh, it's still in the high 30s, but yeah, we're okay. Um, so I'm starting out here. I'm starting with cleaning the cockpit. And I've got things put away, so it's looking a little bit better. And I've done a first pass at cleaning the transom, and getting all of the grime off that from uh, from the yard. I've got as far as the the, the uh, coach house on the deck it's starting to come up. I haven't started this side yet. Um, and then uh, one of the real jobs that we've got to do, one of the first jobs we've got to do, if you can hear me over the wind noise, is this. So the problem we've got is that this roll of furler here is far too low. I need to raise it by about six inches. Not sure how I'm going to do it, uh, but I'm going to take a look at that uh, and then uh, see where we go. Uh, it should be possible. If we look at the top of the fourth day, it's actually about three foot. So I can't really see from this angle. But there is there is room, so there's a little bit of a breeze, so I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to unfurl the Genoa uh, and then take a look at this uh, furling mechanism and see if I can raise it. Once I've done that, I need to sort out some better way of securing the chain. Uh, I think I need something here, basically, just to be able to lock it off with. So I've got a U-bolt and a shackle. Uh, I'm going to try that and see if that makes a makes a difference. Okay, so I've taken the sail down because if I'm going to be loosening this, I think it's probably a good idea. And I don't know where I'm going to put the camera. Let's try. Let's try there. How's that? Is that okay for you guys? Probably not. But it's the best I can do. So. This. The heat has just come around the boat. So, what I'm doing is on the furler here. I don't know whether you can see it. There are two bolts. I'm hoping if I take those two bolts off, I'll be able to move this up because it looks as though whatever grub screws should be in here, there aren't any. 
So we'll see if it works. I hope it works. Hi guys. Well, bit of a change of a look, but yeah, change is as good as the rest. Thought I'd give you a quick update. So um, the abandoned boat is now launched and we're in the water. Um, Captain Svetlana, the Hunter 460 that I part on with Svetlana, is um, being prepped for sale because I can't afford to buy her out, she can't afford to buy me out, so um, it's always got to go. Um, but there are some jobs that need doing on it, and um, one of the issues we've got is that the heat exchanger end caps were leaking, if you recall. I did a bodge job to try and repair them, but... Um, it didn't work. So we have a C starter motor. I've got a new starter motor that I've ordered and it's actually um, at the couriers waiting to be collected. But I'm sat in the car uh, basically because I've got a flat tyre and no spare and no jack. And the recovery guy's here and his jack doesn't work either. So um, I managed to scrounge, scrounge a spare tyre um, but we're just waiting for he, the second recovery truck to turn up with a jack so we can fit it, so we can fit the spare wheel and uh, see what happens. Then I've got to drop this off before I can then pick up the starter motor. So, all good fun. Hi guys, so, lovely day. Taking her out for the first time to do a little bit of sailing, just to check the rig out. Uh, very light winds today, so you know we're talking about sort of uh, five, eight knots, maybe ten at the most. So it's a good day to just uh, get the headsail out, uh, give it a try, maybe get the mainsail, start to think about tightening the rig and uh, tuning it. So uh, yeah. Keep you posted. The main mask is stuck the top there, uh, sticky, so I'll have to go up there and free it or something. That's a job for another day. Right now, I'm just enjoying the fact that this one is actually so, so really well. Uh, uh, yeah, very happy with it. It's a beautiful evening to be sailing. <laughs> 